I'm joined now by Dido Harding, boss of the internet service provider Talk Talk, and representing the government by the Conservative MP Penny Mordaunt, who sat on the parliamentary committee looking into these issues. Um, Dido Harding, uh, you have a filter, and you're the first people to have a filter. Um, what's the take up? We've had our filter called HomeSafe live for two years. 1.2 million of our customers choose to use HomeSafe, and of that, roughly a third of them, just over 400,000 of them, have chosen to put in place those filters. And they love it. They tell us that they're really pleased we've asked them, and they're really pleased to use it. Is this what you concluded needed to happen? Yes, I, I think we've got to recognise that there, there is a problem. I know from casework I've dealt with in my own constituency that very young children are gaining access to some really horrific images. So I think we've, we've got to deal with it. Um, and I think the pioneering work that Talk Talk have done on this has, has shown that it, it's very much welcomed by parents and parents who don't have enormous technical knowledge of, of how to install particular products on their computers. This takes um, the headache out of it for them. But one swallow doesn't make a spring. I mean, the, 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 the fact is that people can go to other internet providers. No, that's right. And all of the big four internet um, service providers have all committed to have these sorts of filters in place by the end of the year. And that is a big deal. I uh, appreciate that there isn't a single golden bullet that solves this problem, but I think it will make the internet genuinely a safer place for all families in the UK. Is this solely about children or is it about porn? Well, I think it's, uh, in part, it's about um, the, the cultural protections. It's about protecting children, getting access to uh, particular images. But I think it's the other half of it is, is really looking at the criminal aspects of it. We're not talking about um, porn, the ordinary pornography. We're talking about violent images and we're talking about child abuse. Uh, that's the other half of the announcement that the Prime Minister made today. It's about actually whatever money we've got to throw at this problem, using it in the smartest way, giving the police and CEOP more powers, actually cooperating with the United States mm. and other partners to have a global solution to this, and to put pressure on the internet providers to say you are actually more than a, um, a notice board on which people can pin things. You direct people to content and you have the technology to close down what is a, an industry, if I can use that term, um, in child abuse. How does Talk Talk work out what it should block? Um, we work with external companies that um, manage that categorisation. It's exactly the same as the sort of software that, say, a firm like Symantec would use on your PC. It's not perfect. Um, uh, nothing in life is perfect. Mm. When uh, a content owner thinks that there is a problem and the content's been incorrectly classified, we look at it immediately and review it with an independent panel. Um, it's, you lock your house, even that, though you know sometimes a burglar could get round it. This is just the same. But this is, this is interesting because, I mean, ordinary porn is OK. I mean, what about children's access to ordinary porn, as you put it? I mean, you know, when we were children, we were not exposed to this unless our parents took Playboy or something, and that wasn't pornographic even then. Well, I think this is, this is about parents being able to choose, and indeed, we were talking about this earlier on, um, parents making a conscious decision to uh, put on those filters and ban those particular sites uh, from, from access from their children. Mm. Clearly, people, you know, children are going to go and get their hands on pornographic magazines. Mm. It's not going to cut off access to, to all pornography. But what we're talking about is some really extreme stuff. Yeah. And it's about the accessibility of it. Well, the difficulty is that, you, that, that there are, for example, dramatic forms. There are feature films, there are plays in the West End in which dreadful things happen. There are, you know, violent rape scenes in, in some very acclaimed movies, for example. How do you prevent catching that? Well, we have a classification system for film for mm. exactly that reason. Um, the internet is a much more complex world, but I don't think it's a world, therefore, that we should just mm. not try to do anything at mm. all. I think, by the way, the most important thing that a, a parent, and I'm a, a parent myself, can do with their children is talk to their mm. children about what they're doing in the internet. No single technology solution will make mm. you safe online in the same way that no single technology solution will make you safe in the real world. Um, we all have to engage in creating a number of different solutions and I think this overall package today starts to do just that. It's the beginning, not the end of this. Well, one of the problems is we're dealing with a criminal, as you pointed out, class of people 
who want to peddle and make money out of this stuff. Um, and the, the, the difficulty is that they historically, throughout the Internet's existence, have managed to find their way around devices. And why not this one too? Well, this is, this is considerably narrowing the field. Um, the new powers that the Prime Minister has announced today for, for both SEOP and the police and the new alliances and sharing databases, which hasn't happened before, all that will help actually crack down on these, on mm. these criminal elements. It's not going to solve every situation mm. we get into, but it will narrow the field considerably. Right. And it means that we're using the resources we've got uh, to, to chase down those, those, that final group. Well, I'm old enough to remember Mary Whitehouse, Lord Longford, the porn crusades, you know, all the rest of it. And the, the, the sense then was that possibly there was a kind of manufactured moral panic. Might we not look back on this period and say yeah. we overdid it? I don't think this is about uh, any form of panic. This is about giving parents, fundamentally parents, the choice over what material comes into their home. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't think that's any form of censorship. I simply don't get or understand why that censorship, if I'm choosing what my children see. I do that in every other form. Tido Harding and Penny Morton, thank you both very much indeed.